Now, the last time a human walked on the moon was the year 1972. Since then, no person has stepped on the coal lunar body. But suddenly, nations are sending rockets to the moon. A new space race has begun to find the most precious commodity in space, water. As India gets ready for another moon mission, this report explains why moon exploration is back in fashion. Ignition sequence start. All engines are back. We have taken tremendous steps. We choose to go to the moon before this decade is out. We have achieved the earth shaking, the breathtaking, the groundbreaking, and left a mark in the heavens. The moon is the hottest destination in our solar system. Humans have not walked on the moon since 1972. But countries and private organizations are racing towards the lunar body. India's ambitious Chandrayaan-2 lunar mission is all set for launch. This will be India's first attempt to land on the moon, but that's not all. The rover will go where no one has gone before, the moon's south pole. Jeff Bezos's company Blue Origin is planning a trip to the south pole as well. Till now, only three countries have landed on the moon. Former Soviet Union, the United States and China. In that order. An Israeli organization made an attempt in April this year, but their rocket failed at the last moment. But why the sudden interest in the moon after decades? It turns out that a lot is at stake. The moon holds the key to a human colony in space. In 2018, NASA images showed what appear to be water and ice on the surface of the moon's polar regions. That's great news for us because humans need water to survive. Scientists estimate that there could be anywhere between 10,000 to 1 million tons of ice. So if water can be extracted instead of being transported from the earth, it could save lots of rocket fuel. Elements that make up water, hydrogen and oxygen, also make up rocket fuel. And fuel accounts for around 90% of the weight of a rocket. Every kilogram of weight brought from the Earth to the Moon costs roughly $35,000. By generating rocket fuel from the Moon itself, operation costs will nosedive. In short, water is the oil of space. Given the enormous benefits of water ice, what was once considered a science fiction can soon be a reality. Lunar colonies and moon bases teeming with humans can be easily facilitated. And if the moon can sustain lunar colonies and produce rocket fuel, then the stage is set for trips further out into the solar system. Jetting off to Mars and beyond will not only be more convenient, but cheaper. This makes the Chandrayaan-2 not just any other lunar mission, it's more than a feather in the cap of India's space agency. India's mission is the world's first attempt to land at the polar region and see how abundant the ice is. Confirming ice on a celestial body could be a huge milestone in human history. But the race to the moon is not primarily about science. It is political battle between superpowers, a chance to compete and become a commercial space player. The nation that gets to the lunar caps first will get an upper hand in accessing the resources of the moon. Bureau report, we on World is One.